Hello everyone, welcome back, here's Van Amsen and today we are diving deep into a fascinating problem from uh, Litcode Daily Challenge, search in rotated sorted array too. So if you are interested in how we can apply binary search in a rotated array possible with duplicates, uh, you are in the right place. And don't forget to check the description below for uh, code in other programming languages like Rust, Go, C++ and much more. Okay, so here is the premise. Uh, we have sorted array that has been rotated at some unknown pivot. And our task, so yeah, this is a sorted array and it was uh, pivoted. And our task is to determine whether a target value exists in this altered array. And sounds simple, uh, yes, but uh, there is a catch. Our array can contain duplicates. So uh, let's visualize uh, example. Uh, so given array of 256001 zero, zero, uh, and 2, uh, let's consider a test case when we need to find target of 2. So we start with a simple binary search. So left pointer, right pointer, uh, mid value. Then we consider uh, going uh, right and our uh, left prim uh, pointer uh, become uh, middle plus one, and if uh, it was, for example, uh, somewhere to the right, so right pointer, uh, right prim, be called uh, middle minus one, so as in uh, classic binary search. And then uh, we have uh, our m uh, prim, so new mid, and uh, we do uh, yeah, change uh, left pointer, so it will be left two, uh, and our new uh, m2 will be here. So we immediately return uh, true because we have found our value of two. And basically if we have uh, found this value or this, it doesn't matter, we return uh, true. But uh, the trick here is uh, imagine that we have uh, almost, uh, yeah, uh, array with duplicates. So basically flat array will be a sorted array uh, with duplicates and then uh, if uh, just uh, one element will be somewhere at the end or uh, other uh, considerations. So in worst case scenario, it could become uh, O n time complexity rather than uh, O uh, log uh, n uh, time complexity as in binary search due to uh, duplicates and uh, yeah, so it's basically uh, harder than uh, without duplicates, because we cannot see uh, the gradient in some particular uh, test cases. So let's implement our uh, binary search. So low, high will be zero, len num minus one. And now while low less than high, mid will be low plus high divided by two without remainder. Uh, num mid will be target we return immediately true okay so this was the uh, easy part uh, so we are using a binary search as you can see and uh, here low and high represent our current search boundaries so uh, we calculate the midpoint mid to check the middle element uh, of our current range. So now if our midpoint value is the target, bingo, we have found number and we return true. But what if uh, it's not that simple? So uh, duplicates can be tricky. If our leftmost value and midpoint value are the same, we can't determine which half is sorted. So we move low one step uh, to the right uh, and continue our uh, search. So if we cannot determine determine the sorted half due to duplicate if num low equals num mid low plus one continue then if left half 
sort it. Okay, so what we are uh, doing here. So duplicates can be tricky. And as mentioned previously, uh, because we cannot determine uh, what, what uh, half was sorted, it might be possible that in worst case scenario, uh, the time complexity will be uh, linear. Uh, so uh, now uh, we have uh, if num low, and this ensure we are not stuck in infinity loop due to uh, duplicates. So now let's check uh, which half of our array is sorted. If the left half is sorted, uh, what we do is if num low less than num mid, so it's sorted. And if num low less than target, num meet high meet minus one. So we uh, change the pointer and else low will be meet uh, plus one. So this part is uh, as in classic binary search, uh, but we make sure uh, in what uh, half our target lies uh, within this uh, sorted half. So uh, we will adjust our high pointer to uh, mid minus one. Uh, if not, we look in the right half by adjusting our uh, low pointer. And if the right half is sorted, uh, then if right half is sorted, else, so if num less than target, less than num high, low meet plus one else high meet minus one and return false. So we return false uh, at the end because uh, we have not uh, found nothing. So what we did, we adjust our pointer similarly based on uh, whether uh, our target might be, but for the uh, right half. So and this is it. Uh, if we exit the uh, loop, so main while loop here, uh, without finding anything, so just without returning true, we return uh, false uh, in the end. So that's it. So let's run it for uh, this simple test cases. So as you can see, zero is in array, so we return true. Three is not in the array, so we return a false. So really simple and visually for small data is uh, obvious. So let's run it for unsynthesis cases. Uh, so hopefully it will run. Yes, so we have uh, uh, completed it successfully and our implementation beat 94% uh, with respect to runtime and 47% uh, with respect to memory. So it's quite memory and runtime efficient. Uh, yeah. and Binary search is a powerful tool. Uh, and with a few tweaks, uh, like in this case, we have adapted it for a more complex scenario. So it's elegant, efficient, and uh, fun. So I hope you found this deep dive helpful. If you did, please give uh, this video a thumbs up. And if you have any question or insight, uh, drop them in the comment below. And remember the code in other languages uh, is in the description. and most importantly, keep practicing, keep coding, happy coding, and see you next time.